Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Air Server. Uh, all right, so I got the software installed on my Mac, and I also have the software installed on my iPad Pro. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Air Server, and I just want to make sure it's turned on. It sure is. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my iPad and I'm going to go where it says AirPlay. And then I can see that I have my machine name. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make sure that mirroring is applied. And now I can see it on the screen. So the great thing about Air Server is that I can record what I see on my iPad. So I'm going to go on the desktop and I'm going to click on the record button and then I'm going to unmute the microphone. Now I am live. As you can see, I'm recording um, the session here on my iPad Pro. Now I'm going to use the um, pencil on my iPad Pro to show you what you can do in your math class or maybe a science class. I'm going to click on notes and we'll see how that runs on Air Server. I'm going to create a new page, get rid of the keyboard, and um, click on the um, swirly sign there. And now I can click on a pencil, a color. You can see that my hand, the beautiful thing about the iPad Pro, is that I can put my palm on the screen. So here I'm just going to write something like 100%, maybe something like y is equal to mx plus b or something. I can choose a color, like something like blue or something as a marker. Um, again, I can choose more colors and talk and write as I go. So beautiful application um, that you can use that's built in to the iPad Pro called Notes. So that's a demo for that. Um, Wolfram Alpha app, you can get this too. Let's say you type in a few numbers for the mean, you click on go, and it gives you the results very easily. Beautiful thing about the pencil is that you can click anywhere on the screen as if it was your finger. Even though Apple doesn't mean to have the pencil as a replacement for your finger. I'm gonna click on the home button there. So I'm gonna click on keynote got something already running click on run and you can see I can easily um, change the slide I'm gonna see if I can bring up the pencil and here it is so the pencil will show up you know this pencil um, strip will show up on the iPad and it will show on the screen. So with this, I can easily write on this. Sometimes I feel like when I'm writing, um, the palm rejection is not as perfect. I've seen it where it skips. But right now it's acting very well. You can even have maybe an equation here. And then maybe even, oh, see, there it is. I barely tapped on it and if and it's like I guess it's thinking that I want to go there or something <clears throat> so it's a bit fickle I'm pretty sure that that might change or something I don't know um, okay and then also click on the home button let's look at Doseri and the cool thing about this I noticed that um, it's just like 
how it should be. I get to see all the files that I have, and then Doceri shows uh, a splash screen on the computer, just like if it was cooked up to a projector or something. And I'm going to click on something like, well, let's say I have this exposure um, video, and then I can click on, you know, slides or something to the next page or so forth and you can see easily I can write something here in Doceri um, I Doceri doesn't seem too much of a hassle in terms of writing it one-to-one -one. sometimes it'll mark like this mark right here it will give me a little mark using my palm, but that's because I don't think it's optimized for the iPad Pro yet. I have emailed them about when are they going to do it, optimize it for the iPad Pro, and I haven't gotten a response. Uh, Doceri is a great product. I wish it had more features. Well, that's for another video. And so, you can see if I pinch on the iPad, it doesn't pinch on the Air server or how it's capturing it. So I think that's about it. I think those are some of the tools that you could use. The whole purpose of this video was to show you a little bit about Air server, how you can record what you see on the iPad, and um, get a sense of what you might use it for the classroom.